A composite motor uses a different type of igniter. This is generally called a copperhead or tiger tail. Again, we have a pyrogen on one end, and this time it looks like it's just one strip of metal, but actually it is two strips of metal that are separated by a thin insulator. The reason it's long and skinny is because it needs to go down to the bottom of the rocket motor, in a composite motor. What you'll do is you'll put it into the motor, twist it around until it goes all the way in. You can see as you pull it out that the motor igniter is quite deep inside the motor. To hook up your igniter clips to the copperhead igniter, we can't hook up the igniter just like this because both sides of each igniter clip touch each of the copperhead strips. This does not allow a complete circuit. We have to insulate one side of each clip. This is done with some pieces of tape. Put a piece of tape on one side of the igniter and put a piece of tape on the other side of the igniter in a different location. Then hook up your clips to these locations. As you can see now we have current flowing through this side of the copper head. It flows around the pyrogen and to the other side of the igniter clip here. This is now ready to launch. A final note of caution. Do not hook up the igniter until you are actually on the launch pad and ready to launch. This will prevent the motor from accidentally going off.